What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video, we are going to be doing a gameplay with a special card, lads. It is the Wes on Sell card. So, lads, if you guys could leave a like, that would be absolutely, absolutely insane, lads. Unfortunately, this is not our account. You guys do know that I decided, ah, you know what? I'm like three teams off Wes Unsell. I'm gonna go out and get Brandon Roy first. Like I would already have Unsell on my own account. I just did. I just did everything in the dumbest way possible. I currently have like four teams done for Roy and all of the pro difficulty games. It is the weirdest thing I have I, ever that I've done right now in terms of the like the Brandon Roy challenges. But it's oh, I'm just I'm in a I'm in a weird weird spot right now. I literally have all of the pro difficulty challenges done. All the all the remaining Brandon Roy ones. So I've got like three TTO games and like two other game or like one other game. Yeah, three TTO games, two other games, and all. I got again. I will have them both by the end of tonight. I have not even. I've all the pro difficulty games in general done. So I've got all the first games and all the players done because I'm like I'm not gonna get first Brandon Roy or first Wes on sale. What I've done right now is the worst thing possible because I could have gotten either one or the other, and now I'm just screwing with myself. Like this is what happens when you don't sleep. You make horrible decisions like I've made, but. Lines, we're gonna be trying this card out right here. It's gonna be a game of TTO. Firstly, because I much prefer TTO, and secondly, because we are trying to grind on our own account as well. We're getting these, I'm getting these showcase gameplays out. I want you guys to see what these players are like before you go out and, well, honestly, before you go out and overly grind, whether it's worth it or not. So, what is on sales? 6 250. 29 hops, 35 golds. All right, half clamps, half hard crusher, half intimidator. He's got half giant slayer, half showtime, half quick reset, half unpluckable, half hot star, half range extender, half brick wall. They are insane. 35 goals, like 64 total of badges on this dude. Like, absolutely, absolutely crazy. Like, post move lockdown as well, which is pretty good. Um, I'm actually just checking for a second. Are these the badges he comes with? Yeah, these are the badges the dude comes with. I pick and roller, dream shake handles, free days as well, flexible release. So, look at his stats as well. He's got some of the highest total stats in the entire game. Like, 3 one 2 3 I'm pretty sure that's number one. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I'm looking at 2KDB right now. All players, sort by... Like, obviously, it's not coming up on screen. Sort by total badges. He is first in total badges above LeBron James, and he is first in total stats. Wes Unseld is first in both total stats and total badges in this game. He is insane. There's a reason why people are more hyped on him than Brandon Roy. 93 three ball, 94 mid range, 95 driving dunk, 96, 86 ball handle, 93 block, 88 perimeter defense, 97 offense defense rebounding, 93 speed, two ball acceleration, 92 life wings. The only problem with him is that he's 6'7, so he's undersized for the power four position, but you know what? He's got a long wingspan as far as I'm aware. Yeah, he's got a 6'10, actually, no, 6'10 is not that long a wingspan, but again, it's a more than usable wingspan. He's just a little bit small for a center position. He's the best, he is the best TTO card in the game. I'm gonna say this right now, and I'm gonna show you guys why he's the best TTO card in the game in a second. But in my opinion, he is the best TTO game card in the game. Because obviously, um, like TT Online is a pretty big game mode. It's my favorite mode. It is my favorite mode. I love playing TTO. Like, I don't mind playing. Oh my god. This guy with the RJ Watts camera. Let's make sure his settings are okay. Vibration off, meter on, aiming, shots on light. Perfect. Um,. But yeah, so Wes on sale here. Hot zones everywhere. If you guys don't know. Oh yeah, just look at this. Look at this right here. People were, people were wondering if he could curry or not. People thought maybe because he was over 240, he couldn't curry. Because nobody knows. I think it's if you're a power forward and you're above the height. Power forward to center and you're above the height of 6 foot 8. I'm pretty sure that's when you can't curry. Um, because Ritam Janovic can, he's 6 8. And I know Magic can curry on current gen. Um, and Because he's a point guard. People, were th people thought it was because of um, Maravich, or not Maravich's, um, Magic's weight that he could curry. I think it is due to the fact he's a point guard. Um, and as well as that, on next gen, he can curry. On next gen, all these guys can curry, by the way. Like, it's just one of the things on current gen is that Le guys like LeBron, Lamar Odom, Kevin Durant have got Pro 2, Thurl Bailey, but none of them can curry on current gen. And they get like the worst escape ever. Wes Unsolved is not in that kind of category. Oh man, this. Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember um, Wes on Salt last year? The point guard Wes on Salt. I mean, this guy's probably like point guard Wes. Is he a pro one? No, he's got pro. 
Oh, it's either Pro 5 or Pro 6, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those two pros. Last year, he got he had Pro 1, and people were running him at point guard. This year, unfortunately, it looks like, like Pro 5 or Pro 6, which is not ideal. But again, obviously, he's going to be bursting at center. He's going to be probably the best power forward in the game. Like, what's up with the... What's up with my... Uh, my analog stick right here. Surely I can stick at him. Yeah. Just be, I'm just very very bad at it right now. I can't. It's a weird thing. I'm just so slightly off with all stick aiming at the minute. But um, yeah. Wes Unseld, he seems like a beast. The guy seems like a beast. And honestly, are these, are these like city jerseys? Are these like the city jerseys or are these custom jerseys? I think they might be. Are these customs? Oh, yeah. These are insane. Like, these jerseys are insane. If they are custom jerseys, these are insane. But, yeah. The Galaxy Opal. I'm not sure if I greened right there. But the Galaxy Opal YBC well and truly is going to be a force to be reckoned with in this game. He is going to be a force, lads. I, again, like, just like the guy was a force in terms of um, his defense back in the 2K17 and 18 days, and to an extent 2K19 YBC, is going to be an absolute force to be reckoned with um, on the 2K courts right now. Let's put in T Mac. Actually, no, he wants. I want him to be. I want him to be the point guard. So let's just go with two bigs. I like. I like these two. Let's go with these guys right here. I reckon. I reckon on this system we're looking at. We're looking at the like comic book Jokic cost him probably millions of MP honestly. Um, and I reckon the flash one's probably super cheap. But, uh, yeah, so, let's have a look to see who we are playing against right here. Um, I reckon, I reckon he'll be able to cook. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you guys think he'll be out here cooking? You guys think he's going to be out here cooking against Steve Nash and Diamond Bargnani? All right, if I don't cook, something's wrong. If I, if I don't cook, something's wrong here. Wait a minute, I have a dark... Does this guy have the same hook color home and away kit? I think he does. Okay, we're good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not even a quick stop. Not even an L2. And we shot a light. That's just bad offense by me. You want to know one funny thing that a lot of people are kind of underestimating in this card, especially on current gen? I'm going to show you not guys next possession. Run at me. You tried to stick him. Fair play. Or just watch this. Watch this, lads. Post hook. <laughs> oh, the post hooks. The post hooks of hell. We're, we're, we're turning back the clocks to NBA 2K20 right here with the post hooks of hell. It's a nice pass, a nice dunk there by Nash. All right, let's just give it to him. Let's give it to Wes. Is he over he's out really overcommitting there. Can we just get a good animation, please? Oh my god, can we just trigger an animation? That would be nice. Oh yeah, wide open. And that is good right there by Wes on self. We got us an eye. Good. Unlucky. Oh, dot corner. We're there. We're there. We're there. Okay. Okay. Quick stop, maybe. And it works, and that's green light from Wes on self. He's like a completely juice Rudy Tomjanovic. He is like, like his animations are almost the same as Rudy Tomjanovic. And there's a reason why I had him, I've had him so highly on like my tier list and my rankings. Because I think his animations are insane. And this is like, imagine if you gave Rudy Tomjanovic some of the most juice stats in the game. I gave him the center pro secondary position, which makes him a unique, just point center in terms of, a unique player in the only curry sliding center in the game. Like, oh yeah, quick stop. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. This dude right here. And this guy's a center. This dude is a center. I he is he can cook, man. He can well and truly. He, he can cook anybody. This dude at center, there is no, there's no stopping. There's like AD's gonna struggle with him. He really is. I think you're gonna see certain like there's gonna I don't think he's gonna be the best center in the game. Or like a primary center. I reckon a power forward you're gonna be seeing a lot of people using. I do think at that center position. Oh, what a shot. I know I missed it. it. The fact that he got that shot off, though, is the biggest part. Surely that second was a straight arm. 
But like the fact that he was able to cook and get that off, like he's so unique. He is so unique a player. Like I know you might be saying like Jokic is this point center, but no, not on this, not on Wes level. Oh, my God, I'm being like driven into a like walked into an animation, get shot there by Wes. Like it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous the way he um he moves. Defensively, I think he'll get it eaten alive a primary center though. The primary power forward, he's one of the best in the game. Oh, we actually carried into him. Doesn't matter, it's green. And if you guys don't know, this release might be better on um, next gen than it is on current. Because I've used um I've used Kobe base on next gen, and Kobe base is objectively better on next gen with like Buddy Heal and everybody than it is on uh, current gen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good shot there by Wes and Zell. He's got everything, man. He's got everything. He's got the defense. He's got the length yet, or the length for the power forward position. He's got the handle. He's got the jump shot. He's got the throw. And obviously, we all know from um, downtown Freddie Brown and Bingo Smith last year that the Afro ads, as well, actually, no, we know from Dr. J. There's an Afro Dr. J and a non Afro Dr. J that are basically the same card. We know the Afro ads tend to every attribute. And then we go and hit that shot right there at the big white. He's ridiculous. He is absolutely ridiculous. Like, his burst, his speed is... He's got 93 speed at center. Half show time, like 29 half badges. Like, this dude's better. I'm not going to say he's... Like, this time last year, All-Star Weekend, which was actually... All-Star Weekend was actually two weeks prior to this. So, we have to take that into account. We did get, like, 40 half badge Jordan. And this guy's not 40 half badge Jordan. But he's better stats-wise. And he's got the more key badges. Like, we can't forget, 40 half badge Jordan didn't ha only had gold range. He didn't come with half range. So, he wasn't... He was far from perfect card. So, we're looking at... We're looking at this card, who's a near perfect card. Like, his lowest stat is... Is 85. He's literally... His lowest stat is 85. And he's got 90 plus in everything that matters. His lowest stat is 85. He's got 90 plus in everything that matters. This guy is a demon. This guy is a demon, and... Well, yeah, he might be a little bit undersized. I'm telling you right now. Later on in the year, when we eventually get the Wes Unseld of Hell. If you guys don't know what the Wes Unseld of Hell is, it's this card here. But a couple of extra half badges, a couple of extra stats. And he can play point guard. That is going to be the Wes Unseld of Hell. And with the way his release is, how easy it is to time. And the fact, if you're on current, he's got that Pro 6 behind the back. He's going to be top tier. So, lads... Is this guy worth the grind? If you have, like, if you have the time, you're getting a top five card in the game. Simply put, you are getting a top five card in the game if you have the time. Is it, like, is everyone going to have the time? No. Is it going to be the end of the world if you don't have the time to get him? No, because I reckon we do get an unbelievable batch of cards coming on Friday. Like, history tends to repeat itself, and we're probably getting something incredible on Friday. I reckon we get probably, like, magic. We probably get magic, opal, Vince Carter, opal, and then... Some, like, random pink diamond card. I was about to say, like, Tom James, but he already has a bad one, and he's a bad release. I'm trying to think what pink diamond cards they could give. Hey, they could give a pink diamond... I don't know, who's won a dunk contest? Maybe we could get an Opal Blake. We could get somebody that won a three-point contest at the center position, which doesn't exist, apart from Dirk. But, um, yeah, I've... I've kind of lost completely, completely um, gone back on my own thoughts. We're probably going to get a great wing that, compete, can, that will compete with Roy. We're not going to get another Wes on sale for quite a while. We're not going to get a center that moves like this. He has a weakness. He's not a perfect card. He's six foot seven. Unbelievable power forward. Absolutely ridiculous at power forward. He is not a perfect center. He is a unique center. You can use him at center and have a ton of success because of his uniqueness, his ability to burst, his ability to get scores. And basically, there is about three centers in this game that can actually guard this dude dribbling. Um, and Hakeem Olajuwon is one of them. Moses Malone is another one. AD can't guard him. I genuinely do not think AD can guard him. And I'm not sure about Karl Malone. Does Karl Malone have his half clamps? He's a high lateral. I, don't, I personally don't believe that AD can guard him. Um, but I think you're going to see a lot more Hakeems because of this guy right here. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. And a fantastic card. You actually, thinking about it, he does get eaten alive by Hakeem. But again, everyone's running Moses and AD. No one's running Hakeem anymore. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.